words manifest like the steam on my breath condensation on my mind Hello guys, it's Unders and we're here in Logic with a mix and we're using Neutron 3 and I want to show you how to use the dynamic EQ in sidechain mode so that we can stop two sounds from conflicting and working against each other. So on the screen right now I've got two open Neutron windows and if you have a look at this little black section here we can see that they're named. One's called Kick Neutron and the other one's called 808 Neutron. So the Kick Neutron sounds like this. Would you believe it? Just like a kick. And we've got an 808. Now what you can notice looking at the frequency analyzers here is they pretty much occupy the same space. They're going to fight each other a lot of the time in this track. So the trick I've really been working on at the minute is basically to have the kick a little bit louder but that starts affecting your headroom and if you want to get everything up to a good level without having the kick slamming three or four db above the bass we're gonna have to make it so these two don't fight each other so much but work together instead so what we're gonna do is we are going to firstly activate the masking mode and we're gonna do that from the kick one so where it says masking it says none i am going to select the 808 and now at the bottom here, I can switch between the 808 and the kick. And I just want to have a little look and see if I'm right in thinking these guys are masking quite heavily. And there we go. So we get all of this indication here to let us know there's definitely a fair bit of masking going on. So what I want to do on the 808, I'm going to make this shelf dip down here and I'm going to take it down by about 3 dB. So I've reduced the level now of that 808 bass just a little bit. Now there's still a conflict going absolutely but it's much less than it was before but we've lost a lot of the weight of our bass. Let me open up now the Neutron 808 plugin. We can see that it's taking effect in there for us as well. But what we want to do here is we want to have that kick control this EQ so it doesn't always affect it like it currently is. So on the 808 version, we're going to go to this bit at the top here in Logic's a sidechain. And we're going to send the kick drum into that. It was audio channel 10, and it's just named kick. And now if we look at node number one and we select it, we can see it's that analog low shelf and we've got our 3dB dip down. We know that. This little arrow here, we're going to activate that and we're going to activate dynamic. And it snaps back to zero now. And now we're going to see that it compresses when the bass is in. But what we want is the kick to be the reason it compresses. So we need to activate the side chain as well. It says internal here, and then we've got EXT for external. We need to switch it to external. And we're going to leave it on band one, because that's the same sort of frequency area. So it should be absolutely fine. And we should see now that the kick drum causes the bass to dip there. OK, so it's working, but it's not coming down very much. So we need to adjust our threshold here and make it so the kick takes more of it out for us. And now we've got less of a battle going on in the masking. Now the real bonus to doing it this way rather than with a compressor is we're only reducing a little bit of the bass line and we're only reducing the areas that are fighting. If we do this with a compressor, we're going to bring all of the level of the bass down. There's no problem with having all this extra frequency up here around this area. This is giving us a really good feel for the bass. We just want to reduce the conflicting area. So that is how we can do that using the dynamic EQ and sidechain with Neutron 3. I hope the video was helpful for you guys and I will see you on the next one.